Faulkner University is a private Christian university based right here in Montgomery, and the school is ready to welcome a new group of students. Joining us, Matthew Ogeen, Megan Smithson, along with Amelia and Griffin down here. We appreciate you all joining us. What does it take to get into Faulkner, and what kind of GPA and ACT scores do you need for the school? Sure, that's a great question because we are in a big pivot this year. For the upcoming class of 2025, we are actually requiring a test to be entered into the conversation again. So an 18 ACT will allow a student to be admitted, but we could go ahead and look at some GPA considerations for those with a 16 or 17 underneath it. Now, Faulkner really cares about this community. I know you've made some offers for first responders out there to help them with college tuition, as well as people who want to join the band. Why, do, why are you all so focused on supporting the community and supporting your students in that yeah, way? It's just, it's a really big, um, big family. And so I think with the community, we just want to touch on those things that they're really interested in and things that they can give back to the community or wherever they may go. So for our um, band students, band, color guard, and music-minded students, um, they are gonna be getting um, a $16,000 scholarship for their performing arts talents. That is fantastic, that's a huge help for students, why did you want to kind of lift that burden off of them? Well, and unfortunately, uh, those performing arts have been taking a hit over the last several years, and, and it's a lot of discouragement when you don't have the funding to participate with it. Uh, but with this $16,000 scholarship, um, in, in perspective, that is a 70% plus percentage to our tuition they're taking care of with that one scholarship. And of course, we're here to help out in any way with FAFSA and other financial aid considerations to see if something else could go towards that conversation. But uh, we just want to give back to the idea of you could be passionate about something and not necessarily put it on the back burner. Yeah, you're, you're there to help them. As you mentioned, you can help them with those student aid forms. You can help guide them and show them where additional funds could be as well. Yeah, all about finding, finding the monies um, to help students um, live out their dreams and their careers that they are looking forward to. Um, even the ones that they don't know what they want to be yet when they grow up, we're here to help facilitate that and help students figure that out um, along with the journey. There. Yeah, a lot of students, when they start off at college, they really don't know what they want to do, and it, it can take some time. And you have advisors who can help them find their passion as well. It does. And you know, one thing I like to try to say, something we aim for is we try to be the people we wish we had, or maybe even we did have at the time of being a senior in high school, navigating those waters. Uh, we're really excited. In fact, Amelia here is so excited that uh, she hasn't even started her first day yet and she's oh, repping she's with here. us and recruiting with us and uh, so we're really excited about that but we know some of these conversations are very hefty and we want our families to know you're not alone in it. Yeah, it's so exciting to see the new face of Faulkner <laughs> yeah, right yeah, here today. Yeah. We know that Faulkner has an incredible law school program but what other programs stand out there on yeah, campus? so new up and coming. Um, computer science and computer engineering is going to be new this fall. So if you're into coding, and cybersecurity. Um, we have got all the things for you. Digital media is a new one as well. We have plucked a veteran of ESPN who is going to be heading that program, Mr. Tommy Lee Washington, and he is fantastic. Um, we, I cannot wait for the students. I'm not tech savvy at all, but those, <laughs> uh, Mr. Harridge and Mr. Tommy Lee are amazing and they can help students do amazing things and have that networking aspect to jump jump into their career. We all have our gifts, and that's what you do there, yeah. Faulkner. You help <laughs> students find their gifts and then Absolutely. turn that into a career. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, Tommy Lee Washington, we're really excited about just the experience he's bringing to our campus, and uh, as you mentioned earlier, you know the fact that he has ESPN experience, that's a huge, wow, just amazing to have that type of pedigree with us. But to know, just one more shout out to him, he's the guy that designed the scorecards underneath most games. Whenever you see somebody scoring, and he's the one that helped create and facilitate that, and now he's one of our own, and we're excited about having him here on our campus. Yeah, that is a big get there it is. at Faulkner. I know you have a lot of extracurricular activities. We're excited about the football season kicking yes. off. I know band and cheerleaders are excited as well. What does campus like look like on campus there at Faulkner? So we have lots of activities for the students, um, not just our 16 different sports teams, um, band and choral concerts, but just the, the livelihood that is in Montgomery. We try to incorporate um, things that are going on in the river region for our students, but also just it's a little piece of home at Faulkner, even being away from home. Um, 
And we even have a, a theater leadership conference going on right now on our campus. And in fact, tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, you're heading to Davis Elementary to do a little bit of service project out there. And then we have a strong standing relationship with Davis Elementary. And anything that we can do to serve the community at large, we're, we're here for that. We know that Faulkner has its hands on so many community projects across Montgomery and the River Region. We mentioned that you were a private Christian university. What do you think sets Faulkner apart? Why do you think people choose Faulkner? I, I think it really is coming down to those values. You know, in a time frame where so many different schools where faith-based atmosphere conversations are probably triggering in some way or, or at least tense in other directions, uh, with Faulkner, it, it is the norm. It's the conversation we want to have. And we understand that not everybody's going to be on the same page on some conversations, but it is an environment where we're trying to understand each other a little bit better and we are led by our faith base. And in I'd like to take it a step further. There are so many schools these days who like to, uh, to proudly say that you are not just a number, your name, and, and that's great. But I think Faulkner, we take it one step further, and we also mentioned that you're not just a name, you're a soul with us too. And we want to know what is going on on your daily spiritual life and get to know, hey, you're telling me you're okay. Is that really the answer you want to give? You really care about yes, your students. We so try. You're going to have an open house soon. Tell yeah. us about that. Absolutely. So we are so excited. College of Health Sciences are um, a beaming light in the community. They um, we're having our um, open house on September 14th from 9 to 12. And so students who are interested in those graduate programs, but also undergrad students who are thinking about going into that career, just want to learn, see, do a tour, learn more about it. Um, but we are so excited about what they're doing and um, in the community. And we have already serviced over 37,000 families, um, patients at the clinic. Um, those those um, programs, speech and language pathology, um, physician's assistant, occupational therapy, physical therapy, um, those families get those services for free. So we are serving and giving back, but also helping our students learn what it's going to take in the real world. You're helping your students and helping the community all at one time. Absolutely. In fact, one more feature I would add to that. So as, as Megan mentioned, we've serviced over 30 hours to 30,000 hours to the, the area at large. That's almost 60 clients every single day that we're seeing some driving anywhere from three to four hours away. Uh, but along with the services for speech language, speech language pathology, occupational therapy and physical therapy, uh, we also provide a counseling service, not only for the patients, but for their families as well. Uh, a lot of times we do recognize the, the, the journey that a patient takes, but often the family members get forgotten and we don't want that to be a battle they fight alone. So uh, our, our clinic there of, of research is there to help out every single member of the family, including the patient. And we need more physicians. There is a shortage in Alabama, whether it's primary physician or uh, specialty. And if you're interested in speech language pathology, physical therapy, occupational therapy, or even physician associate as well. And we also have a new pre or excuse me, our pre nursing program is looking to grow and we'd love for you to stop on by September 14th to find out more information. I think you've just sold a lot of folks on fire <laughs> right there. I'm First sorry. day of school. Uh, actually, Monday. Yeah. yeah Monday. Moving days tomorrow, and we're so excited. And Monday starts starts the ground running. Are you packed? Uh, Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> you already moved in, so you're good to go. Well, best of luck to both of you this school year, and thank you both so much for joining us. Thank we you for appreciate your time. it. Appreciate it.